Hello everyone, today I'm going to tell you about uh, SSH port security on Linux servers. So we'll use CentOS 7 as a Linux server and uh, I will secure the default port with any of the port which uh, I want. Okay. So first of all I would like to tell you how you can do this thing. So these are the basic instructions uh, to secure default SSH port 22. So there's a step one. In step one, you need to add the date uh, port in uh, daemon, uh, SSH daemon configuration file. So by using any of uh, any of the Linux editor, let's say you have a VI editor, Vim editor, gedit, then nano editor there are many others so basically i'm using nano and i'm more comfortable with it so i'm using nano editor to open this file then after opening this file you will see there there's one line ssh port so you will see that uh, there a default 22 port will be written there so you uh, you can uh, change any port which you want uh, here I'm using 2020 as SSH port okay so this is your first step to change the port then in step 2 uh, you need to update this port in firewall so there will be no issue and uh, if uh, your firewall is already disabled then no need to do this step you just uh, change the port and uh, restart SSH the daemon services okay so uh, let's start while uh, using Linux operating system so here uh, on this terminal I will show you I have uh, already installed CentOS 7 let me show you let cat then CentOS really so you can see 7.7 .7 is installed over here so now uh, the first step is to open that file this one this is the file mm, I'm just opening this file while copying this command and putting over there so it is showing nano command that phone so basically you need to install this editor so this is it is installed now I'm typing that command again and here you can see it is written as port 22 I'm just opening it and changing it to 2020 and then control x y enters i just save this file now i would like to move to the next step to enable this port in firewall so first command so i can use both command at the same time but if you want to type one by one that's also okay it is allowed in firewall so the last step is to restart the so self so restart now I need to reboot the system how it works so I have rebooted the system and doing uh, and opening a new session let's say my server name is billing dot online.com here this was the default port now I need to change
here you can see uh, no server is accessible via Uh, via new port so if I would like to go there and just do a re restart session you will see that it will give me the error uh, connection refused so it means to now default port 22 is not working that's it for this tutorial and if you like to learn more regarding Linux so I'm available to help you if you have any query you can contact me on my skype id on my email id or my whatsapp number thanks for watching this video